What's up everybody, Sparrowwood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Osiris Dawn. Found an interesting little, uh, thing here that it's raining, which has happened before, but I didn't realize it cleans off your suit. So that's kind of cool, because I've been walking around here looking like a copper guy, and now I'm not. So in the last episode, we managed to build our biodome, which I still don't think... It's either I'm not doing something right, or it's not working. Um... Yet. I did notice something in the patch notes that said um, that the um, biodome was and some other blocks were fixed, but I'm kind of thinking this wasn't really what they meant, because I just... Every time I reload it, the plants are gone, and I'm also not seeing them do anything. I'm not having to use anything to plant plants. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. I think at this point it's not really doing anything, but the only thing I can think of is to play long enough that this is, like, active for a while and see if it changes anything, but I really don't think it's going to. Um, I think at the moment, because I know we already know that there are some blocks that are not functional at the moment. Um, like, what was the other one? Not the, not the biodome, but the, um... Yep, that one. Uh, the tanks. The, um, the gas tanks. People were saying you can't actually store anything in them right at the moment, which is why I haven't made one. Um, I did end up getting rid of the bed for the moment, and we were going this way with our hallway. I would also like to point out, I was concerned about starting this um, without having my... Uh, sealant being able to like seal everything off but apparently it doesn't work that way at least not in this particular stage of the game uh, as you can see right now when I walk through one of these it says you're leaving the oxygen safe zone so apparently that's a thing uh, that even though this does not have a door the game still sees it as properly sealed which is a little weird um, but I guess they did it for a gameplay mechanic so that you don't like lose your oxygen area. Now, another really weird thing. Um, I'm gonna grab my stuff to build a habitat just to show you what I encountered, which is very odd. Um, and I was not expecting it at all. So, I, like I said in the last episode, I was planning on doing a hallway here, another habitat, and then another hallway in like a barracks, right? Until I ran into this little number which is when you go to build this i noticed it was it was not letting me build anything and i thought maybe it's because i'm not lined up properly right like i can't get the uh the airlock to to touch so then i was like well what if i build it over here and when i went to build it i get this you cannot build at this location you're too close to an existing habitat what so that was new i didn't see that coming apparently you can't have habitats close together because reasons so that kind of changed my plans. Um, I am now essentially looking at doing the hallway and then going right to a barracks. And then in the barracks, we're going to put like our shower and our um, bed and stuff. So we shouldn't lose too much from losing the bed here in, in this um, habitat section that we took out. I do have the inflatable dome up temporarily until I get a bed again. Uh, for saving purposes. So I ran out of magnesium, or at least I'm low to where I won't have enough to build um, the steel plates that I need for the barracks. I have pretty much everything else, but I don't have any steel and I don't have any lead. So we're going to go do the magnesium first, which I've already shown. I may show uh, that area for just a brief quick minute because they've actually added sounds to the giant worm, which is terrifying. Um, but beyond that, we'll probably head to... The only, where, the only place I know of that I can get lead, and we'll go from there, but ultimately my goal is to build a barracks and get it started going with some stuff. Okay, so here we are back at the Ezekiel Crater, and you should hear the sounds as soon as he pops out of the ground now, which is just, oh gosh, it's terrifying. Um, there. Right there. We're gonna start moving. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the way. Jeez, that thing is so huge. But at least there's a bit of a warning to it now. It doesn't just 
fly up and hit you in the face, which is just awful. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna get the magnesium. Now, as far as I know, uh, the few times that I had to come... Get that right there. The As many times as I've come over here, it's only ever popped up one time per time that I was over here, if that makes sense. Um, normally, it I haven't heard it show up again, so we should be safe. Um, if not, I will probably try and record it if I hear it again. But I don't think it's going to come back, so there's that. Okay, so I went and got lead, which actually wasn't that hard. It was right over that ridge around that rock, so it really wasn't that bad. Um, so I think I should have enough to place the barracks. Oh, I need to grab all the plastic, though. I forgot about that. And I should have enough plastic. I, I did a couple of hydrogen runs, so I should be pretty good to go. I'm getting kind of used to those, by the way. They're not really that bad. Alright, now let's see if I can connect this up. Yeah, there we go. Stop it. Stop it. There. Now, I don't know what it's going to require me to do for actually building the walls and stuff. So let's take a peek. Steel and aluminum is side wall, corner wall. So we're going to have... I'm glad I got extra iron and... Um, Magnesium. Now I don't see any windows, so I can't apparently do any windows off of this one. But that's not a that's not a bad thing, because we're gonna need to use it to put stuff places. So that's fine. All right. So for now, we're gonna put this back. Keep this. Just grab uh, an aluminum, and we'll work with the rest of it as far as the um, like this stuff and whatever. We'll work with that in a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to go through and try and do the walls here of both the barracks and the hallway. And hopefully I have enough materials, even if they're not all crafted up yet. And then we're going to work on furnishing the barracks a little bit more. Ta-da! Alright, so it's done. Oh, and my, my little guy here keeps getting stuck everywhere. Follow me. Let me walk you around the place, because apparently his pathfinding is just very, very dumb. Since he doesn't know how to go around a building. Now, normally I would have him mining, but I had had him mining for a while. So I'm actually going to set him up for patrol and repair over here, because I'm going to have a lot of my, like, save points and stuff set up in the, uh, the barracks. So the barracks is actually a lot smaller than I expected it to be. I thought it was a bigger building, but I, I guess it literally is like a barracks for probably a person <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so our hallway and everything is done. Everything should be properly sealed, so we are pretty good to go. Um, so let's get in here and work on modifying the interior, because there's a few things that I want to get going. Namely, a bed. So now, I don't know about this way, but now, okay, left the oxygen recovery safe zone. So this doesn't apparently count. I still can't seem to do anything with the plants, so I'm not really thinking those are working. Um, and is this still sealed? This isn't sealed. Okay, so that's interesting. All right. It's kind of dim in here. Okay, that would not be good. That would not be comforting at all. Guys, there's a crack in the... In the bulkhead here. Um, that's actually probably a glitch. But that would be kind of funny otherwise. Alright, so. There's a few things that I want to build. Um, I, oh, I do need wires. To do a shower. I wanted to do a shower. Just so I don't have to be clay face anymore. Um, so I should have enough. Boom. Perfect. Okay. So I should have enough for that. And like the rest of them, you can customize the walls and stuff. Though I'm a little disappointed that there's no, like, blue color. Because, you know, I mean, me and blue go hand in hand. Um, so that was a little disappointing. But I'm sure that's something that'll show up eventually. 
All right, so I don't have enough copper. I wasn't. I didn't realize it needed copper. Darn it! I will. I will. I have enough. I just have to get it all. Um, where did I put my copper? I actually. Have, I didn't even mention it. I actually do have two depositories now because I ran out of room. Though I ran out of room, but then I started using a lot of the stuff, and so now I'm fine on room. It also doesn't help that when you shift-click stuff into the inventory, it doesn't, like, auto-stack, which is a little weird. But, uh, again, as early as this is, I'm sure there's gonna end up being stuff. Okay, so, firstly, I have to think of setup here. Let's do shower over here. And I don't know what else we can eventually build into this, so, you know... How do I use this? Can I use this? That's another thing that I don't know if this is going to be a... I don't think this is a functioning block at the moment, unfortunately. I wasn't sure. I wish some of these did say they didn't function or did, because, you know, um, it'd be useful. Uh, Alright, so let's do a bed. I can't rotate it, but whatever. So we'll put a bed over here so we can de inflate our inflatable dome again. As, uh, as now we have a save point. And then, the big kicker is this guy. Now again, I don't know if this works yet or not, but if it does, it's supposed to open blueprints and things, or at least give us access to other ones. So I'm curious if this works or not. I don't think it does. Dang it. Dag nabbit. So I wasn't sure about that. I was kind of hoping, but since this blueprint tab never does anything and I don't have any points, I kind of assumed it might not, but oh well. At least once it's actually there, we'll have everything set up. Now, let's see. Let's go through this. We have all of this stuff. We have all this stuff. We don't have any storage lockers, which I probably should do. I don't have any crates. Uh, we have a kitchen. We have a shower water. So I don't have any of these. I don't have a couch. We can build that, though. Um, actually, before I do that, let me see if there's any more u anything more useful I can put it on, like... Laboratory... Okay, so... We don't have diamond. We have lithium, we have gold, we have aluminum, steel, we can make wires. Wires doesn't require any plastic, so no hydrogen. Circuit boards, I think, require two plastic a piece. Yes, they need two plastic. And for the lab, I need three, so I need six plastic to be left over. And then if I wanted to make a couch, I would need three, so I need a total of nine. Let's see. I know I had some extra, but I don't know how many I have. Yeah, so I don't have... Actually, I don't have enough as it is, so I'm going to have to make a run anyway. Um... I could make two circuit boards, but I can't make the other one. So that's fine. We'll save that for another day. Um, I could, however... I could, however, make this. Let's do that, because to be quite honest, I'm going to have to run and get more plastic anyway, and I can get about ten per run, and this only needs six. So that should be fine. Storage locker, I have the material. I need, a, I need a wall to build that on, and I don't have one at the moment. But I probably should build one of those. So let's grab... Let's see, what do I need? Three for that, not a big deal. Six for that, so ten. Or nine, excuse me. Alright, so that should be fine on that. What did I make the class for? I made the glass for some- oh, I made the glass for this guy, and then couldn't make it. That's right. I was like, wait a minute. Um, wire is gold, copper, and rubber. I think it was three. Okay, so that should give me... I want to make one of those just because. So that should give me two wires plus the gold that I need and the copper. Uh, okay, let me do some more uh, resource management stuff and then we'll continue. 
Okay, so I think I have everything I need, and actually, as a bonus, uh, because I didn't want to record in the dark for building and stuff, because, well, there's no fun in that. Um, I actually went and did my hydrogen run already, so I have another eight barrels, so I should have enough to make the circuit boards for that, so I guess the next episode will probably end up being diamonds is going to be the hunt for diamonds and building a lab and then whatever else we can get done. But in the meantime, let's go back in here for a second because I want to make me a TV because, you know, um, I'm sure you get cable on Mars. That's That's got to be a thing. And I know we're not actually on Mars, but, you know, it just seemed like the thing to do, thing to say. Um, can I? No, I can't rotate that. I don't like where that's positioned, actually. But, oh well. What are you gonna do? It's I don't even think this block is working anyway, so I'm kind of just building these things in the hopes that when they actually update them, I'll be like, hey, I've already got one. It's already, it's already there for me to do. Oh dear lord, this is... I feel bad for the, for me now. Look at this. Look at how old this is. Like an Atari or something, or a Nintendo. No, not Nintendo. I don't recognize what that is. The controllers are like Nintendo. The system looks like an Atari. I'm confused. Um, Alright, so that's that. Before I go knocking out another wall, which I will probably... Let's see. This has an interesting view. This has an interesting view. However, you could go to the glass, the biodome for a better view, so we might want to knock this one out and put a storage there. And then that gives us this view on this side. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to knock this one out. But before I do that, I also wanted to build a solar panel. Because I'm not sure what this blue bar is. I think it's power. It could be oxygen. Um, but these both say they're in unoxygenated zones, and this one is. So I doubt that, and he's got no blue bar and he started with one. So my gut tells me power. But I'm not 100%... Oh my, that is huge! Um, well, that's... that was unexpected. Um, man, I don't even know. I did not expect it to be that ginormous. All right, so we have a window going this way, a window going that way, a window going that way, the biodome that way. So let's put it like over here, so as to not block our view. I'm going all Marvin the Martian up in here, you know. I'm sorry, sir, please move your solar panels, you're blocking my view. All right, so that's done. Where is this creepy crawly? I hear you. Oh, there's two of them. And I did actually, uh, in the last episode, I mentioned that they don't jump up here. I did actually have one jump at me. Uh, not one of these guys, it was one of the uh, quadruped jumpy dudes. I don't know what those guys are spitting either. He's dead. Hey, you leave my droid alone. Especially since he's gonna spawn the next time I load this game. Alright, so let's check out the solar panel. Good gravy, I did not think it was going to be that big. Let's see if I... can I do anything with it? See, this is one of those things where I don't know if things are just non-functional blocks at the moment, or if it's just stuff that I don't... Okay, large solar panel serves as an energy source for other nearby structures as well as re a replenishment zone for vehicles and droids. Okay, but how close is close, is what I'm wondering. So let's take this guy off of the repair. Follow me. We're gonna run around here and see if I can get you charged. Because I believe he is a droid. But again, I don't know if this is a non-functional block at the moment. So there's that. Let's just tell you... Patrol and repair around this general vicinity. And then we'll see if he ends up getting charged. I don't think this is functioning, though. I think there's a lot of blocks that aren't functioning. And if they are, they're not functioning correctly. Um, so the last step is this guy. We have enough to do this. However, I am going to need... Uh, what window did I say I was busting? That one over there. That's right totally in the wrong place. 
So let's break you. This poor habitat. Oh, I actually have enough on me already. Well, that's awesome. That was unexpected. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go do stuff and blah blah blah. But apparently not. I really was not expecting that. That's gonna end up being probably my uh, thumbnail, because, well, have you seen the thing? I mean... Like, honestly, this is cool. I like the aesthetic of the game and all, but let's think about this. There's me, one guy, with no scaffolding or anything. How could I build a structure that huge? Is what I'm wondering. But, you know, I mean, uh, just whatever. Um... Okay, this does go in a habitat. I was concerned there for a second. I was like, um... Did I think this through? Now, as much material as this requires, I'm guessing this is going to hold quite a bit. So, this will be kind of awesome. Um, now, the only drawback with this at the moment... Storage locker is a large indoor storage... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Got that. So, the only drawback with this at the moment is... That I can't put a forge... Well, I say can't. I don't know that I can't put a forge in here. I don't think I can. Can I? Alright, here's... Trial and error. Let's just test this out and then we're gonna wrap this episode up. Um, so I need plutonium... Iron and... Titanium's in the other depository. Alright. So let's just see if I can build one in here? I don't think I can, but because it's under utilities and not like an actual structure, I don't, I don't know. No, I don't think it's gonna let me. Okay. Can I do... Oh, I don't have the materials. Darn. Alright. Um, I wasn't sure about that, but I was gonna say the only drawback here is if I store things in the locker, I have to bring them back out essentially, um, to store them, or to use them in the forge. So it's a little, uh, meh, catch-22. But anyways, I think we're gonna, that's gonna do it for us for this episode. Next episode, I think what I'm gonna do, I have the gold, lithium, steel, and aluminum already done for the laboratory. However, I am gonna need more gold to make wires. So I'm gonna need more wires, I have what I need to make the circuit board, I think, and then I need to find diamonds. So next episode, the first thing we're going to do is probably find diamonds or gather up the rest of the materials and then find diamonds, and then build the lab. And if that doesn't take us too long, uh, then it'll turn into trying to figure out what we need to build vehicles, because hover bikes. Enough said. All right, so we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.